Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, as a Valentine's Day treat idea, I'm going to show you how to make one of the most famous and delicious Canadian desserts, Nanaimo bars. Nanaimo bars are a rich chocolatey dessert comprised of a crumb layer, a custard layer, and a chocolate layer. This treat is named after the city of Nanaimo in British Columbia, which is assumed to be their place of origin. Otherwise, they'd be called something else. These guys are super easy to make requiring no baking, but have a cute, appetizing look and an unforgettable taste that will have your friends and family coming back for more. Anyway, before I start to bore you, let's get to it. To start, we're going to make the crumb base layer, so set up a double boiler on your stovetop and proceed to melt your butter in it. And in case you're asking yourself, how much butter, John? Don't worry, because I'll put the exact amounts of each ingredient in the description below. Next, add your white sugar and cocoa powder to the melted butter and stir it until it's completely mixed. At this point, add one beaten egg and stir with a whisk until the egg is completely mixed and the chocolate mixture starts to thicken. Now, remove the chocolate mixture from the stovetop and add to it the graham cracker crumbs, the shredded coconut, and the chopped peanuts. Mix all these ingredients well until everything is thoroughly combined. Line a 9 inch by 9 inch baking pan in parchment paper and proceed to pour in your base layer mixture. Using a spreader, flatten and spread your base layer until the entire bottom of the pan is covered and the layer is well compressed. Finally, put the pan in the fridge to cool. Next, we need to prepare the custard layer, so in a large mixing bowl, add the butter, custard powder, icing sugar, and milk. Whip this mixture into a nice fluffy icing. I recommend using an electric mixer here because it makes this step quick and painless. Also note that the custard powder we use here is essential to give this icing its characteristic yellow color. Now remove the base layer from the fridge and proceed to spread the icing evenly over top. Return the pan to the fridge when you're finished. Now, we are ready to make the third and final layer. Return to your double boiler and add the butter and the blocks of semi-sweet or unsweetened chocolate, depending on your taste. Heat until everything in the bowl is melted and the mixture is smooth. Remove your pan from the fridge and proceed to pour the melted chocolate on top of the custard layer. Use a spreader to evenly coat the entire top. Leave in the fridge overnight to set and the next day you can cut yourself a beautiful Nanaimo bar and enjoy the rich chocolatey flavor and sweet velvety custard filling. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you really enjoyed it. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. I hope to see you next time. Bye!